Hello, hello, I'm Scott with Cochrane Tech Services. This video is about connecting to a Jace for the very first time. So we're gonna have to realize that a Jace has two different IP ports and we need to know which one we're using and what the IP address of that port might be. Well, from the factory, our IP address on our primary port is 192.168.1.140 and I'm using a Vicon branded Jace. So that tells me the factory default platform credentials will be Tritium Niagara. If you've never seen a JSON in person, this is what that looks like. On the bottom side of it, we have a secondary port and a primary port. I'm gonna be connected to the primary port at that IP address assigned. So my IP address is a little bit different from the factory. That's okay, but don't mind that. The way I'm gonna to talk to my platform of my JSON is I'm gonna hit this little open folder button in my toolbar I'm gonna go down to open platform and I'm gonna to connect to it with the platform TLS connection. So that platform TLS connection over port 5011 tells us that we're gonna end up communicating securely and we're gonna do that using certificates. Here in the box, the dialog box to the right of the host IP is the IP address of the JACE that we wanna to talk to. I wanna to talk to that JACE's platform over secure connection and I'm gonna click okay. Because we're using that TLS connection, the JACE prompted me with a certificate. Well, really, it did that anyway. And because my computer didn't recognize that certificate as a trusted source, and it doesn't have anybody to trust by proxy, it's asking for, for user input from a human, saying, hey, man, this guy thinks he's the Queen of England. Do you believe him? Yeah, I believe he's a JACE or the Queen of England. So I'll click Accept, and I'll allow communications to commence between my computer and this JACE. Again, we're trying to log onto the platform, and our Factory default credentials for the platform on our Vicon branded JACE are Tritium Niagara, and I'll click OK. Now, before we can really access that platform, by default, we're gonna have a few tasks that we have to complete. That first task is to configure a system passphrase. What that's going to do is protect sensitive data within our JACE. For example, if we had a JACE talking to a supervisor and somebody hacked our JACE that's using credentials to talk to that supervisor, we don't necessarily want to give those credentials up. So that passphrase will help protect sensitive data in our JACE. We're going to remove that Tritium Niagara account and replace it with some better credentials, being that it's public knowledge that the Tritium Niagara is the default credentials for the platform, and we should certainly change them. So from here, I'm just going to click Next. I'm gonna set up a passphrase. This is something that you're gonna to wanna to remember. There are ways to strip passphrases out of offline stations. That'll be in a different video. I'll click next after I set up that passphrase. A new user, maybe I use integrator with a new password. I'll click next. And this is telling me that it's gonna remove that Tritium default platform user. I'll click finish and it's gonna log me into that platform. 2,000 years later. And I'm in. So that is the first time that we actually talked to our Jace. We were able to log into that platform. And this next video is going to be about commissioning. You guys have a great day.